for the session. Um, special thanks to my trainer, Senior Master Rod Ferguson from the Australian Academy of Tai Chi and Qigong. Uh, what a continue the series actually with Shibashi X. I, I love the set, in fact, I love them all. <laughs> What's your favourite exercise, Brad? Oh, all of them? I often get that question. Okay, so sinking back into posture, always nice and balanced, nice and relaxed. Hot, humid conditions here on the Gold Coast. Uh, so this is about calming the breath, calming the heart, calming and focusing the mind. Key point is to calm the heart and calm the respiratory system as well. And that way the rest of the body comes into, into play. I do see a lot of people just being dehydrated, um, uh, having anxiety, etc. Particularly elderly, uh, particularly people who do not um, take care of themselves. Um, two to three waters of uh, two to three liters of uh, filtered water per day. I think it's normal. That's what we need. Okay, so continuing the brush palm series, I find it quite um, interesting. Uh, it can be challenging at times too. So. Simple movement, I'll just start with this. Just with that right hand, palms facing up, and we simply just come around. There is a movement here actually uh, in Shibashi 2, which is circulating the chi, one of the closing movements. So using the body, we're not really carrying the arm, we're not carrying the arm at all. In fact, we're not carrying the hand. So the right hand comes over. It's always best to start with that first uh, the left hand, arms facing down. So you can always just connect both the methods together. And when we do put them together, they don't even have to be large circles. So if you're comfortable just with two circles like this, two hands just going, key point is just keep them moving. I think a lot of this, my students actually, when they stop, they Get a little bit of a jar, it's like gears, uh, you know, being meshed together, and they can't move. So just keeping the movement together. And you notice how we uh, rotate through the waist, so it's very good for the back, very good for the abdominal uh, cavity here, very good for the internal organs. Gentle massage for that. So, what we're going to be doing, again, going from our right to our left hand side, we're going to be doing one circle. And because I'm going over to my left hand side, this hand just comes up. I always think of like a boom gate, you know, just you know, crossing the road type of thing. Transferring weight over the right hand side, I step out uh, with my left foot, just a comfortable step. This hand, my right hand, just goes around. And the easiest way to do this movement is actually just to come out to here first. So we form a hook. It's like you're running out the door and you pluck a tissue or you pluck the keys from the table. So we step out, we sink back into posture. So body always provides that movement, provides that stability, and we push. We can only push as far as what we can. We bring that left foot back in, we do one movement, we transfer weight over to the left hand side. You see how we just do that hook again, and then pushing out. You can do with both movements, um, pushing up with a hook and pushing up with the palm. Focus is here, on the palm. Easiest way up, let's just do one at a time. Okay. Here. So this is brush palms to single whip. Low center of gravity, so we have connection with the earth. Uh, less chance of falling. It's all about falls prevention, preventing falls from happening. Well, if we do fall, uh, we lessen the severity of that. And that's just a movement within itself. To get back to here, and then just a push. So focus. Very good for focus as well. Stepping out. Keeping up with a hook and then pushing to there. I'll just do one more on the left hand side. So don't forget to pluck as well. Coming down. Bringing that left foot back in. I'm Brad Holmes, Tai Chi Gold Coast. Hope you enjoyed that. Looking forward to seeing you next.